welcome. My name is Lexi Jong, and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. Today, we are talking about the newest lipstick from Armani. These are the Lip Power lipsticks. I always wanna say Power Lip, but they're Lip Power. And I picked up three shades. These are available on Sephora and on Armani's website, Armani, and Selfridges as well. Armani has the best selection, and uh, that's where I ordered these from. If you are ordering from there, be sure to check out the code INDULGE15. It worked for me to get 15% off. And Top Cash Back currently has 13% back on the Armani website. So definitely a great deal. Armani also has another deal going on right now on timeless pieces with the code signature you can get. Um, you know, it's actually up to 50% off depending on what the item is. And I think it's a great deal. So with these, let's talk a little bit about this formula. So this is going to be a long wearing, vivid color satin lipstick. So this is the darkest one I got. This is 503. This is also known as Eccentrico. Now, one thing I don't care for about Armani is I personally remember names better than numbers when it comes to makeup products. And they don't actually put the names on the package. They only have the numbers. So, uh, you know, for me, I, I, I wish they had the names on there. I know it's just a, a silly little thing. And then I also picked up 106, which is Forte. And you can see that this one is more of a brownie shade with a touch of rose in there. And then 104 here, this is the lightest one that I picked up. You can see, let's make that area a little bigger. You can see that this one is going to be a light rosy beige nude. So we have 503, 106, and 104. Now, before we go into lip swatches, I wanna show you the packaging on these. So these click close. So it is a secure click. And this is actually an oval shape here. And, you know, personally, I don't find Armani's packaging like super attractive or anything to me, which is one of the reasons I don't usually pick up their lip products. I don't know, they just don't attract me. However, this shape of this applicator is incredible. It, it's, it's this beautiful teardrop shape, which not only is it aesthetically pleasing to look at, it performs <laughs> so well. It's like the best shape. So I'm obsessed with this teardrop shape. It's so easy to get a really precise application on the lips without like a mirror or anything. I think it's fantastic. So I really, really love the shape of these. Now, as for how these actually perform, I think these perform as well as they say they do. So I don't see anything, any claims anywhere about how long the color lasts on the lips, like no specific hour set or anything. I have done a few wear tests with these already and you put them on and they have this beautiful satin sheen to them. And that they feel more like one of those lip balm lipsticks, like a Chantecaille lip shake right? So it's got more of that thicker, balmy texture at first. It's a little bit thinner than the Chantecaille Lip Shake. You put that on, that moisturizing, balmy feeling actually lasts for a long time, longer than other lipsticks of that type. So I, I can get anywhere from four to six hours without losing that like feeling to it. And then after that kind of wears away, my lips still may feel comfortable. Like it's, actually about seven or eight hours before I feel like I want to add any sort of lip balm or anything. It's not because my lips are dry. I just always love having something on them for hydration. So the pigment really does last all day. You know, if let's say I, one of the wear tests, you know, I didn't add anything all day and yes, it did fade by the end of the day. It was still there, but it had faded. Now in another wear test, I put it on you know, and then I reapplied lip balm about six or seven hours after it had been on and just like plain lip balm. And I continue to reapply lip balm throughout the day whenever, you know, I, I felt like it was gone and the lip color stayed fresh looking the entire day. I never had to reapply. So the colors really last, you know, the Chanel Rouge Coco Blooms that also have that like long wearing stain their like kind of glossy finish doesn't last long at all, like maybe an hour or two, right? 
this glossy finish on here. I mean, it's not as high gloss as the Chanel, but that shine that you get is really going to last like four to six hours. So it's, it's really nice. So let's go ahead and look at some lip swatches. So we're gonna go lightest to darkest. This is shade 104. So as you can see from the lip swatches, all three of these shades have more of an opaque base to them, more of a creamy kind of base to it, like, like a cream color and creamy texture as well, but they're more opaque. There's no translucent base in any of these shades here, and they are buildable in color. It's more noticeable with the lightest shade, 104, and as I applied more layers, you could see it deepen up. And obviously with the 503, which is currently on my lips, you know, that is a more opaque pigmented shade straight from the start. So it doesn't build quite as much, but they are all buildable. And one of the things, if you put on a thin layer, it's going to be like thin, not so much of that creamy texture. And then if you build it up more, you have more of that balmy feeling. So pigment wise though, you don't have to build it up to have the color last all day. I would recommend two coats per se, but uh, you know, if you just wanna do one thin layer of a stain, that's still gonna stick around for a good portion of the day. I think it does last a little bit better if you have two swipes instead of one, but uh, you know, it's always personal preference. Now, I personally love the texture of these. I find them very creamy on the lips, the creaminess, you know, lasts for quite a while. It's very comfortable feeling. They do not have as much shine as something like the Chanel Rouge Coco Bloom, but you know, they do have a sheen to them. They definitely have that satin finish. Again, it's going to be a creamier satin. So it depends what you like. If you're somebody who prefers like sheer satin lipsticks, this isn't going to be that. These are definitely going to be creamier and more opaque. And yeah, I think that basically sums it all up because these are a great lipstick and I really, you know, this shape of this applicator is really, really nice. So I hope that came through during the lip swatches. You could see how easy it was to get the shape. And I feel like even if you're using like a deeper shade, if you want to get like a precise shape around your mouth without having to use like a lip pencil or a lip brush or something, I feel like this shape is really conducive to that. And I, yeah, I really like them. So uh, definitely I think these are worth trying out if it's, you know, a formula and finish that you're interested in, but I am really enjoying them. So I hope this was helpful. Please give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I would love to know your thoughts down below in the comments. Let me know if you like these, if you've tried any of these. I'm not super familiar with Armani makeup in general. I haven't tried very many items from them. I've tried some base products, tried some lip products over the years, 
but that's about it. So now I have these and then the new uh, melting color bombs. So I'm very curious if there are some, any other like favorites or anything I should consider picking up. So please let me know down below and I look forward to you hearing your recommendations. Have a great day and I'll see you very soon.